Winger B, 1600. work on the swinger bee. Um, we got some hydraulic leaks that we need to take care of. Um, they've been um, <clears throat> seeping a little bit and then just keep them getting a little worse, a little worse. So I want to get this all taken care of before I have to go on a long trip with it. Uh, that way I'm not always having oil. I haven't added too much. It's just barely seeping out, but the cylinders are all wet with hydraulic oil. So I don't know of anywhere where we can go and buy just swinger parts uh, around here. So I'm gonna pull these cylinders apart, um, take them in, at least the seals in, um, get them matched up, get some ordered, so that we can put new seals on. So I'll be down with the swinger for a few days, won't have it here, or won't have it usable, but at least we'll be done with these leaks and no more seeping oil, keep everything a little cleaner, make it a little nicer. Some issues here, the way this clamp is made, and I'll show you here, they've made it so you have to cut it off the cylinder and re-weld it every time. Um, I want to see if there's any way I can change that because that's a little bit frustrating. Um, so that's what I'll be looking at, see if I can make a, a different bracket so that way I can, or I'll see if I can make a bracket where I can bolt and unbolt it next time this thing starts to leak again. Um, this isn't the first time it was changed so I want to kind of inspect the shafts, make sure they're straight, no bends in them. Um, look inside the tubes, make sure there's no gouges on any of the inside of the cylinders or anywhere. Um, so we'll be taking it apart, doing an inspection. As you can see, we are welded there. And I'm going to have to cut that weld off because it goes right, right to that tube. Uh, and so there's no way to bolt it or anything. You can see these cylinders are seeping both sides. All the other cylinders are fine no seeping okay let's go a quick rundown of the things i need to do within the next three weeks on this so like i pointed out the cylinders need rebuilt one two and three those three will be rebuilt i got these red lights on here uh, these led red lights i have another set i think i want to put another set up in here somewhere um i wish i had actually a white set and a red set and I can fit them both in the slot but we'll see what we do um, I'll make it work right there and right there I just want to have a little extra red light those work really nice these red lights they're for um, either backup lights or tail lights they're not very bright they only had one side hooked in I'm gonna get them hooked up so both of them can run so it's a little brighter I also want to mount some in back all I got right now there's a white light in back. I want to put a couple of red lights back here. So so a few more things I want to do. They have these for the wires. Um, I'm going to be welding little nuts every so often. So that way I can zip tie them to the nuts. And these won't be tearing off on me. Get those done. Um, I ran a new wire in here for the... For these lights ran a new set of wires so it's got a ground and a positive i'm going to be clearing some of these things up so like this comes right to the front i'm not sure why um maybe the lights were originally mounted in the front i'm not really sure how they were but looks like they've added these later so what we're going to do is we're just going to bring the wires through these holes or something we're gonna hey look don't jump if you tip over, make sure you grab that steering wheel and hang on for a ride. And then I think we're pretty much done. I would like to try to mess with this brake, see if we can get it adjusted. I think it works. I think everything's there. That cable might be a little stiff or not adjusted correctly. There we go. 
So, this down here looks good. And that wheels look all right. Well, let's see whether that be these or the internals. And I'm pretty sure it's probably the internals. Shaft looks pretty good. I'll set this aside. Okay, so we got this part done. Now we need to lift the mast up, chain it in place, so we can pull off these other cylinders. Um, I'm gonna hold, go ahead and pull them both off because we don't. We're gonna have to do both of them anyways. I only need to get have one. I only need one to send it for seals um, to get the right ones. But go ahead and disassemble both of them so they're ready to go. Okay, so before we take this up all the way, we got some roll pins in there. We gotta punch those roll pins out. Both sides, so we gotta try to twist it a little bit. Gotta try to twist it a little bit and get them out of there. Okay, those are both out. Now I got a little bit of mess I gotta work around. Okay, so you're gonna have to lift your mast all the way up. Um, we're gonna do because we're going to chain this right here so the mask cannot come down. Okay, so what I'm looking at, it looks like they come off to the side far enough that I might be able to just um, pull them out right where they're at. And so that is what I'm going to try. I'm going to try to um, just take them off, take them, um, undo this nut here, and pull them out the top. And that way, things will be a little easier rather than trying to disconnect the cylinders and pull them all the way out. So that's what we're gonna try. I have never seen one of these before. Let's take a look at it. You can see right here on this one, there's a piece of metal sticking out, which is this right here. And when I was unscrewing this, this was actually this way, when I was unscrewing it, it started coming out. That is, that is interesting. First one I've seen. I mean, I would assume, well, I don't even know what it, because the thread should be enough. Yeah, I don't know.
Okay, so I've never taken apart um, forklift cylinders. So this guy here is a retainer. So he hooks in this little groove and then you twist them in. And I think he's just like a spring. And he holds them in place and he won't come out. Okay, so that's that. And I never knew how these were down here. So there's no seal on the bottom. You got a little hole, little hole here that comes all the way through. Yeah, so my understanding is now that when you, the hydraulic oil comes in, even though it can leak on both sides, um, the rod has to get pushed out. So the oil on top is just being pushed back around and pushing the mast up um, because it has nowhere else to go. There is plugs on these guys, and this one is damaged. It's right there. It's damaged. Um, I don't think it's leaking. I don't know what it rubbed up against. At one point, it rubbed against something. This one over here is fine. But if those were open, that would actually not work at all. It would just squirt oil out everywhere. So only seals that are in here is on the top. So we got, that's the oil seal. Here's like a dust ring, keeps the dirt out, um, dust seal. And then you got these seals there. So these are the, this one inside, this one inside, and this one here are the only ones that keep oil out. That just kind of keeps dirt, it's a wiper. Wipes the rod so dirt don't get inside. Um, so I don't even know if there's any point in taking these off. I don't know if they come with a new one or not. Maybe I'll take it off just, just in case. I have no idea. Never done these before. So I'll send one of these in. We're going to take apart the other cylinder. And I got some plans for that. So these are the seals I'm normally used to. See on the bottom, there are seals on the bottom. So when you got oil coming on this side. But the difference is, is you have oil pressure on this side when you want the ram to come down. Um, the other ones are just gravity. Um, so, I mean, I guess it, I mean, they work fine. So, this is what's in here. I believe this is just to kind of help guide it, keep it straight, keep it from twisting. Here's your oil seal. Here's your oil seal. And there's an oil seal on the inside. So, we're going to pull this nut off, pull this guy off, pull this gland off. Let's get this off. Wiper, and then you get your seal inside here. So now we just got to get parts tomorrow for this, and hopefully they have them in stock. Probably not. Probably have to get them ordered, get them replaced. So there is that. <laughs> 